right here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three. If I move it over to here, it'll be even. Do I want to worry about being even? Sure. I need to make more of these fence gates. slabs. more the cut. I think the cut... can I make the cut stuff? Um, yeah. There we go. Great. we go and we had one more creeper face for now didn't we I have to make more creeper faces so there's that <laughs> um whoops boy this pig just plows through sandstone Scaffolding stuck up there. Not going to care. Not going to care. Alright. Yes, I like that better. And then I'm going to do stairs here on these so that it curves even further. Um. <laughs> Can I use the sandstone for these? Also going to do then is either buttons or what I'd much be happier with. Oops. Fences. 
can put torches on those too. So we'll go back up, grab that scaffolding. And put torches on the tops of these. looking pretty good so far. That's the first floor. I'm not so sure I want to do lanterns in in some of this area. I'm not so sure. I'm... So sure. So we're gonna want to break up these plain walls back here. Um, hey, that's a different cat. That one's got gray and white. We got we've got some more cats spawning in here. I really would like to catch you guys. Hello. <laughs> Wonder how our villagers are doing. How many do we got? There, I see three. There's four because there's a guy over there. Yeah, four. Cool. I do not know if how large the village will get. Is there five? Is there a guy in here? Nope, still no librarian. No guy by the smoker. Alrighty. Hello, Wolfie! Alright, so we've got the front, we've got the dock entrance side. Oh, I hear a drowned. Hello? <laughs> Alright, dock entrance. Then we just do the back and the other side facing the street that actually won't have any access. I'm pretty sure this will be a street. How well does it line up to the gate? Not bad. And it doesn't have to be straight. We don't have to have straight roads. So yeah, that's not bad. Alright. I'm doing alright. I'm starting to get the usual aches in my shoulders. Um, I really need a new desk chair. It's, <laughs> it's just a very, very uncomfortable chair. The um the back of the chair is pretty much broken, so I can't lean up, lean against it, and be upright. I end up laying down, and which then causes me to not lean against the back of the chair at all. And then after time, you start to slouch, and that slouching is causing shoulder pain. <laughs> it's essentially what it's doing. Hey, it's gossiping time. Yakety yak. Guys, what are you guys talking about? Tell me! Okay, don't. <laughs> um, you.
I'm unsure if this side should look any different. have to give it some texture so that it's not all the same. That's all the smooth that we have. So let's go see if we've got more. Over here. And I should probably sleep. It's been a couple nights. Yep. Time is it? Is it almost? I like the orange color, so it's getting there. Ooh. For those of you who watch my Enigmatica 2 modded series, I need tree farm ideas. <laughs> Because I need a lot of mineral trees, so I need a tree farm idea. Something I can get made. Um, the cut is made with this stuff, right? Yep. Well, yeah, I location. I'm not. I'm just trying to. I need an automated way to get a whole bunch of mineral trees. Um, so I need to figure out what mod to start using to do a tree farm. How do we get the creeper face sandstone? Is that? It's not those. It's not that. Um. I think that drowned is underneath the dock, so he'll not be able to get to us. Alright, so here, whoops. Mega fast pick. And here. We'll put it in. That one's in the wrong spot. Um, or is it that one? <laughs> uh, do I care very much? It's on that one's got to be in the wrong spot because that one's only one, two, and then creeper face, and that's one, two, three creeper face. This one's one, two, th creeper face. And then one, two, three creeper face. So we actually need to move you over one. And your one, two. Industrial foregoing. That is something 
That is definitely something that I could probably get into relatively quickly. I don't have any of the industrial foregoing stuff started. So then this is one, two... Did... Are you... How'd you... Are you on top of something? How did you get up there? Ow! How did you get up there? You silly goose. Um, okay then. <laughs> you like a little warm bum, don't ya? to get the sand and the rough and kind of change up Let's do that and we'll go sand sand rough one here too all right and then this spot here it up a bit. Um, we might, I might like to do some trap doors of the spruce variety. If we did them as faux door, four faux windows. Yeah. That works. That works well. We may want to mimic the same similar thing along. Is that even different, more different cat? Is that a Siamese? Where are all these cats coming from? I thought they were like limited to like the amount of villagers dependent the cats. Seriously, we just have... You're just gonna be stuck up there? Because I don't know how you spawned up there. There's no other way I can think of that you ended up there. No idea. <laughs> Still need a name for this guy. This is our first actual pet cat. And then whatever color collar I should put on him. I need to do that too. Um, let's see. Definitely need the windows that we've been doing all around. One there. One there. And then... There. Need to make a couple more spruce gates.
right. So. How you doing? Alright, that that gives it enough interest, I think. I don't need a lot. Um, there are other things you can do to change up the way of building looks. And we'll probably do a little bit of decoration around when once we get a street in place along the edges, um, we can put, you know, barrels and crates and logs and stuff along the edges here um maybe we'll put some pictures to be cons and banners for like advertising you know big open spaces in a town tend to get painted with posters who knows there's a thought <laughs> um it's also possible that we could do little shop fronts sort of deals just kind of like canopied little areas where there'd be little shops. I haven't decided how the market is going to be. If it's going to be in a central location or if it's going to be somewhere else. That sort of deal. Alright. Let's grab you guys before you despawn. And go in here, get this wall taken care of. Oops. There. I think this side is not going to have any windows. do a second floor access stairwell out the back here on the side. Do I do 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 creeper face? Okay, I'm out of that. So let's move you over. And you're gonna be one, two here. So I need to make some more cut. What did I just see running that way? Oh, <laughs> we have ourselves a wandering trader. Great. You know, I think I'm going to free you, buddy. You're welcome. Alright. Yep, so we need stairs. Um... I 
think I'm only gonna have it one wide. I'm not certain I really need anything wider than that. And then it's gonna have, you know, a support. Let's move it in one. And then this will be the next floor. Um, this will be where the ceiling is here at this level. Um, let's do two. We need more stairs. too wide. Alright, let's go grab some more let's sleep and grab some more uh, sandstone. It's so nice to see villagers walking around again. I kind of wish I had more than four, though. They need the houses though, do they? The new villager mechanics is they need a bed and a job site and food. I don't think they need a house. Because iron golem farms that I've seen these days, there's no houses. There's just beds and job sites and a farm. <laughs> So my I I'm doing a stab in the dark guess that uh I don't think it's needed. Um I only have two. Let's fix that. Totally could put something there. I don't know what. And we'll have to get some more sand, some of the cut for that. All right. So now we have access to what will be the second floor. <laughs> I did take out a couple. You're right. We'll work on housing. Um, I just want to have some place that's better than a bunch of chests thrown in one of the buildings. Um, so we're going to do a floor in here. Probably oak. Um, might even do slabs so that the 
cavernous first floor looks a bit more cavernous. Instead of doing a whole block at this level, do a half. So it would be at the top half. Um, I don't have any oak on me. I am going to be adding some oak logs going across. I haven't decided which direction yet. Adding support beams is what you're talking about, Darkwing? Yeah. I am considering it'll likely be the support beams going this direction. So they'll be there. But, um, yep. And there'll be support beams going down to the ground, too, to hold the second floor. might be interesting to figure out how to create a lift. Um, things coming in off the docks would come in here and maybe this corner right here is non-functioning but make it look like it is a lift, a pulley lift, to pull things up to the second floor. That's an idea. Already got to come up with researching a simple crane for the dock area to take things off of the boats. So it looks like the wandering trader spawned in there. Oh no, there's ways to get out. He's just standing there. Wonder if he's got anything cool. I don't know if that's ever the case. I have a couple of emeralds. Let's go find out. Let's go look. Hey bud, what you got? Dyes, dandelions, acacia, dark oak, pufferfish. Nothing I can't actually go get myself and five emeralds for a pufferfish? <laughs> uh uh. So there's the top of that. I only have four torches. I'll light this up a little bit.
hopefully have enough. We might need to put one in the middle. <laughs> and we'll put something there. Okay. Now, on the inside, that looks nice. Probably need to light it up in here too. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. There's that one there, and if we did one, two, three, four, five here. good so we'll go all the way across with these and then we'll figure out supports from floor to floor to the oak log here am I out whoops going to um, not do that for sure. Uh, see, the challenge I have here is that there'll be one, like, Right there is the closest I'd want to put it, which would mean another one. There. Sure. Then just seems like it breaks it up a little too much in here. Do have to consider though, we need a lot of support for what we're putting in here. Which is what? I don't know. Wool? 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 We'll be here somewhere. We'll have all of our valuables in one of the floors. Uh, concrete might be a good thing in here because it's not a not a quarryable item, so I'm not going to have it in a silo. That works. Like this? That, sure, that works. Okay. 
have two. This makes more. I have that, I just need sticks. All right. the floor in here be There's a witch over there I'm sure I want to leave it as sand, but I could probably do the smooth sandstone. about time for us to sleep again. Okay. I want to grab a decent picture of this. Hi! And we might do from this side. Let's grab a decent picture of this, shall we? Um, feel the view is usually a little closer. Yeah, look at that. Oh no, we don't need the, the traders inspecting it. There we go. Woohoo! Where are your llamas? Over there. Are they even attached anymore? What aren't um Okay. Confused. <laughs> Is it okay to be confused? Anyway. Looking good, walking here. We need to figure out if we're gonna do like shelving 
Yeah, I totally claim them if they they he leaves without them. Mine, mine. Yep. Just trying to figure out if we did. See, these are if these are chests or barrels, um, more mixture of the two on each side of these pillars. Um, that would put there and there. Make some more. Let's just use spruce. We're just using these to get a visualization of where the rows would be at. You can place double chests next to each other now, yep. Yes, you can. This one will be a little different because we're going to have our lift here in the corner. You can place single chests next to each other. You don't need trap chests anymore. You just hold shift when you place it, and it won't connect to the one next to it. Uh-huh. I think I'm extremely happy with what I got done. Let's come over here and take a picture of this because I always tend to forget to take screenshots. <laughs> I forget to take screenshots and I have to load this back up again. What do we want to take a screenshot of though? I mean we just have a bunch of blocks. Mwah. The idea here. We'll do that. Sure. I need to come up with a silo design and I'm going to make one with the redstone um, between streams and uh, figure out what how, kind of space I'm going to need for it and then we can skin it by putting decoration around it to make it look more like bulk storage that would be useful for this style of build. That sort of thing. Yep. We need a crane here. We need a lift in there and then we can do our second floor. In there. The second floor is going to be colored things. I already know what I want up there. So like they're going to be sorted based on their color properties. So we're going to have dye, and then we're going to have like red concrete powder, red concrete, red wool. Is that it? That you can cut dye? Oh. Yeah. Man, I think, I think that's those things, but yeah, that's what's going to be up here. Once we get the walls up, it's going to be all lined along these walls as best I can with the 16 colors with their different colored blocks. That's what I want up here. And then we'll go to a third floor. 
uh, which will have our see then again I could use a do a make a um, this wouldn't be called a bank in those days if I'm thinking about this not being modern all of the valuables of the town would be stored probably in some kind of a town hall or the richest manor house I, mean, I suppose there were bankers, but it wouldn't be like a bank. It would be a person that is a banker for the town that you can borrow money from, that you can, that takes care of your valuable assets type of thing. You contract to do that. It's sort of like the, um, the Medici of Venice, you know? <laughs> they were bankers. Money lender, yeah, see? Something like that. So that's worth considering too. But uh, I'm going to call it here for today. I hope you enjoyed the work we've done on, you know what, on the uh, warehouse and the storage yards. And um, yep, we're going to keep, I'm going to keep working on this off camera between streams get a second floor put on top here for more stuff. I need to collect a whole bunch of wood to make chests and barrels and I need to figure out um, the silo design. So I'm going to try and do all of that for next time. I'll be streaming tomorrow morning from 10 o'clock till maybe noon. It might just be a 10 to 11 morning grind. It depends on how much work I find I have to do tomorrow. Um, and I'll be doing Enigmatica. We're going to try and figure out a tree farm. <laughs> so I will see you back then. Take care, folks, and have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye!